What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min for Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you what's new in Inkscape 3.2. Let's get started. Number 1. Dynamic Asset Placement The Inkscape Asset Library is now available in the Inkscape Rendering window, which you can access by clicking this button or press L on your keyboard. Here you will see the same asset library that is also available in the Inkscape toolbar in SketchUp. At the top, you can search for items here, or filter by categories and tags with these two buttons. The feature that I really like is the new Dynamic Asset Placement feature, which lets you place assets directly in the Enscape Rendering window. Once you're done, click on this button to apply the changes. Then you will see the full quality models in the Enscape window, and the proxy models in the SketchUp window. And like usual, you can move, rotate, and scale the model in the SketchUp window, but now you can also do this in the Enscape window itself using these tools on the left side. This feature will save you a lot of time from switching between the SketchUp and Enscape windows when placing assets. Number 2. Multi-Asset Placement Another cool feature is the Multi-Asset Placement tool. Here you can choose to place single or multiple assets. First, I can choose from the different types of Multi-Asset Placement, which include Rectangular Selection, Circular Selection, and Bucket Selection. I'll start with the rectangular selection. Next, I can select multiple assets that I want to use, which will appear in this window down here. For the rectangular selection, I need to pick two points, which will control the path where the assets will be placed. Now I can adjust the width of the path here, and adjust the density with the slider, as well as choosing the different type of distribution, which includes random, jitter, and uniform. Here you can decide to turn random rotation on or off. And you can use this button to regenerate the placement of the assets. If you want to see what the assets will look like, then click here to preview the selected area. When you're happy with how it looks, you can click Confirm Placement and apply the changes, and the proxies will be placed in the SketchUp model. With the other type of placement, such as the circular selection, you will also choose two points. One is for the center, and one is for the edge of the circle. And feel free to reposition the points if you need. Lastly is the bucket selection, which is my favorite. With this tool, you can place assets on a surface with a single click. Pretty cool, huh? Number 3. Green Building Assets and Materials Like every new version of Enscape, there are always new assets being added to the library. In this update, Enscape has provided a new collection of green building assets and materials, which are perfect for illustrating sustainable architecture projects. These assets include new people assets, new vegetation assets, new materials including solar panels, recycled plastics, and manual assets such as turbines, electric vehicles, etc. Number 4. Bash Panorama In Enscape 3.2, you can now render multiple panoramas at once by clicking this button. Here you can choose which scene you want to bash render. Then you can either render the views as images or as panoramas. It will take a while to render depending on the number of panoramas and the speed of your computer. But when it's done, you can see it in the Upload Management window, which takes me to number 5. Number 5. Upload Management Overhaul The Upload Management window has been redesigned to offer better usability and a more intuitive workflow. Here I can preview the panoramas and upload them to the cloud. Number 6. Panorama Tours After the panoramas are uploaded, I can go to Enscape's website and go to my account to save my uploads. Then I can view the panoramas individually, or I can also create a panorama gallery. The Panorama Gallery now has a new navigation mode called the Tour Mode, which adds markers to the panoramas where each marker represents different spots in the scene where you can click to jump between them. The great thing is that you can easily save the project and share with your client and colleague using a simple link. There we go! Those are the new features in Enscape 3.2. There are also other features such as ray trace sun shadows in real-time view, which will have improved shadow accuracy during walkthroughs and videos. Also, the thing that I'm most excited about is the merger between Enscape and Chaos, the developer of V-Ray. Both Enscape and V-Ray have made some huge improvements over the years, and I can't wait to see what they will bring in the future updates. If you want to learn more about the merger, then you can go to the link in the description box below. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment below if you have any questions. Stay inspired guys, and I'll see you next time.